Hello everyone, it's the first week in July and of course time for a brand new prompt of the month in the Facebook group The Mixed Media Emporium. Now the prompt for this month is slow stitching. It's something that's been on my list of prompts for um, a good long while and I've been inspired by all of these pretty pieces that I've got here so let me just explain. My friend Eugene gifted me this box and it was put together by a lady called Tori of Cool Kooky Creatures. She has a YouTube channel channel and it is really inspirational and um, since receiving this um, I have been binge watching her videos I'd never heard of her before but um, a really inspiring channel so I'll perhaps leave that there um, you don't need to purchase a kit like this I'm sure that many of you have got um, scraps of fabric which is all you need but just to show you um, it was presented in this beautiful little box here in this pretty tissue paper with all of these bits and pieces inside now, I've just spent quite a few minutes playing around with all of these gorgeous fabrics just trying to piece some colour schemes together and trying to make a plan in my head of what I think will work. Um, now I'm going to be using a piece of burlap for my background and this was inspired by one of Tori's recent um, card making projects. I'm using natural linen so this is premium quality frayed edge burlap ribbon that I got from a company called Ele uh, Eleganza. I got this from Amazon if I remember I'll leave the link to this in the description box below um, but for those who are interested it is 70 millimeters and it's on a 10 meter roll so that's what I'm going to be using as my my background and then um, I thought I'd do some kind of um, landscape design now I thought I would have it um, this way around hang on let's get rid of that pink so I'm just going to piece um, these fabrics I also thought that I could use this gorgeous um, yellow polka polka dot I want those to um, overlap and then where's the other piece that um, I had in mind here it is really like um, how that um, how that looks so let me just um, hold this up now I'm going to hold this in place using a glue stick so I've just got one of my scotch glue sticks here. So let's just grab a scratch piece of paper. Um, Tori uses um, fabric glue, um, but you know I don't have anything suitable. So this will this will do just just fine. So just a small amount, and this um, is just to hold my fabric in place. I've trimmed um, all of these scruffy bits off as best as I can from around the edges. So let's see, let's just um, pop pop this on. So that one there, we'll do the same with the yellow polka dot. So let's just put um, a little bit of glue on here as well. You don't want too much. And let's try and get that in, um, whoops, in a nice position, of course. It's really hard to do this on, on camera. So I think I'm just going to go off and fiddle um, around with this and get it exactly how, how I want it. Oh gosh, come on. I'll do this um, off screen about there. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. And where was the um, other piece? I think it was, um, it was this one. So let's put a bit of glue on there as well. And I'm just going to stick that down there like like that and that um, is good enough um, for me so let me just hold this up so that you can you can see now I've cut a piece of the pink thread off my little bobbin here now this is embroidery floss and it's five threads in thickness I'm just going to very very gently um, take this apart I certainly don't need um, all of it it will just be too thick to go through um, my needle be really slow about doing this because otherwise you'll just end up with a great big um, knot so just gently pull it apart like this keep straightening um, it out if anybody has a better way of doing this then please um, do let me know um, but yeah I'm just going to pull this apart so that is now three strands and let's see if I can get this through this little um, needle if not I'm just going to have to go and get um, a, uh, one with a larger head from my my stash 
I got there um, in the end, what I ended up doing was putting a little bit of my glue stick on the end of my finger um, just to hold the fibres together, just to make it easier to go through the hole because I couldn't find um, a needle in my stash that was um, the right size. So now I am going to go underneath here like this and just um, do myself some um, running stitches all the way um, along. Let's see if I can do this. I haven't sewn like this for such um, a long, long time. So hopefully I don't um, make a mess of this and um, and screw it, screw it up. So I'll have another one here. Try to make this evenly, evenly spaced. And you know, the idea is that this is slow stitching. So you take your time. And if the stitches aren't completely even, it doesn't matter. So now that we're at the end, I'm just going to go down to um, to here and I'm just going to do the same, same again. So let's just try, oops, try and get that through. There we go. That will do fine. So I just want that nice and loose um, on the back. You're not going to um, see it, so that's okay. So I'm just going to go all the way along to the to the end. Here's my two rows and you can see that the second row is neater than the first. Not that I think it matters by any means whatsoever because it's not that style of stitching. So I've chosen the green thread and what I am going to do next is just go all the way um, along the outside. Um, in a horizontal row. So I've got my knot um, on the side, on the back side here, as you can see. So I'm just going to go all the way along. Let's see if I can speed this up by doing a few stitches at a, at a time. So I'm just going to go all the way along this first row here. The stitches don't have to be perfect well mine aren't anyway as you can as you can see but the color is just lovely I'm trying not to get these too tight um, either so I'm at the end of my row and I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to go all the way along now and create another another row I'm trying to be as straight and neat about this as I can but you know it just does not have to be be perfect and I'm just going to go in lines all the way along now. Now I've finished off my stitching so my rows down like this um, all the way to the bottom. I'm really happy with that. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination but you know it adds texture, it adds character. You know my stitches are not straight in several places but you know that's okay. So let me show you what I'm going to do next. I want to add some lollipop trees and I've got these two pieces of coordinating um, ribbon which I thought would work perfectly. I need to use some Fabri-Tac or something on the ends just to stop them um, fraying because I've had to cut threads off already but what I was thinking is that I could have them something like that and then I've got these one inch um, little circles that I'm going to cover in fabric and I'm thinking that I could have my trees um, like this and doesn't that make the most adorable little landscape so I just need to decide now which um, fabrics I want to use for my trees um, what have I got let's have a look you see I've got some pink I've got this lovely purple. I think I decided that I wanted to use that. I've also got this lovely um, lavender that might go quite well. And what I'm thinking is that I'll glue the um, fabric down to um, the little discs just to give them a little bit of structure, perhaps. I've also got this gorgeous gingham. Um, could I use um, that? So let me go and play around with my fabrics. And let's see um, what we could come up with. I don't want two polka dots um, in a row, so that's not going to work. I'm thinking maybe this and maybe just the plain um, lavender on, on this one here. That's it, decision made. And what I am going to do is just add a really generous amount of glue onto the back of my disc here. 
and stick that down to the back of my, my fabric. Is there a right and a wrong side? I think this might be the wrong side. So let's stick that down here and I'm just going to weight that down. I'll do exactly the same with, um, with this one here, just applying a really generous amount of glue, especially um, around the edges, which is where I definitely want it to stick because it'll hopefully um, stop my fabric from, from fraying. Um, is there a right and a wrong side? I think I think that's the right side. So we'll glue that down there. And I'm just going to weight these down. And then I'm just going to cut um, around the edges once the glue has dried. It's now dry and I've gone over it with my heat tool as well just to make sure that that's set. And then I've burnished it um, as well just to try and make um, an indentation on the fabric. I don't know whether you can see. So from the reverse, just burnishing um, this down. And I'm just going to cut around this really carefully now with my um, fabric scissors. Now I'm using a tiny amount of art glitter glue just on the end of my ribbon. Let me just cut um, these little frayed bits off. I've got it on the tip of my finger here just applying a small amount and I'm using art glitter glue um, because it dries almost um, instantly. In fact, let's just cut that little frayed bit off as well, which end, here we go, let's get rid of that. A bit more glue on my finger and let's, um, which end was it? I think it was this one, this one here and let's just um, tap that on. I've already done it to the pink one, so that should stop that fraying um, any any further. Little lollipop trees are so cute. Love the pink one, that's perfect. But the blue one is just um, a tad too plain. So what I'm thinking um, is that I can add some little um, French knots. Let's see if I can get this through. And I'm going to try not to um, over overthink this. Let me just move that um, to one side and see if I can remember how to do a French knot. So hold the um, uh, the, the cotton in your left hand wrap it round one two three times pull that tight like this and then go through with your needle keep your fingers crossed guys oh and how cute how cute is that and i'm just going to um, do a few of these all over my little circle. Just a few French knots um, to my tree. Um, I have completely run out of that um, that green thread now and I didn't even have enough to tie it off properly so I've had to glue it. I'm going to use my um, art glitter glue to glue these down. So let's start off with this one here and I'm just going to try and add the smallest um, amount just to the um, just to the centre. Come on, it's going to play up now again. I've just um, poked my pin um, in it. So just a really small bead just down the, down the centre, perhaps a little bit on the outside as well. I don't want it to bleed through my, through my ribbon. And so we'll stick this one down first. I think it was about there, wasn't it? Like, um, like that. So let's, um, let's check. Yep, I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to add a really good dollop over the back, over these, these threads. Now this might um, be a bit dimensional, but that's okay. You know, that's texture, isn't it? So, you know, there's nothing neat really about this. My stitching is all wonky, but I really like it. I've had so much fun doing this um, today. So how do I want that to go? Not too high up. So I'm just going to have to wait, um, wait that down, make sure that, um, that that glue grabs. And then, yeah, I think I want that one there. Now, is it straighter on this edge? I think it is. So let's just um, add some glue again. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing and glue this down as well. So that's finished and glued down, but I want to mount it um, on something. I've got this beautiful piece of royal blue um, fabric in the kit, um, but as you can see, it's not wide enough. 
So I have found a piece of felt um, in my stash. Of course, none of the pieces of felt that I've got here are wide enough um, either. This is the right colour. I've got a whole bag full of felt squares that I've had for donkey's years from, oh gosh, felt projects that I've done with the kids when they were tiny. Um, so that is the perfect background. I've also cut myself um, a piece of textured um, cardstock. This is just embossed textured cardstock. You could use watercolour paper as well that would be um, ideal but seeing as I've got this that's what I'm going to use and I think I'm just going to glue that down now I did toy with the idea of adding some stitching around the outside but I don't know I think that might be overkill I like that um, as it is I'm just going to glue this down to the felt to start off with I'll use my um, art glitter glue for that just because I've got it on hand but you know three in one um, fabric tack color glue any of those will do fine any type of fabric glue um, this is ideal because it dries really really quickly so I'm just going to add just a touch around the edge it doesn't have to go right to the very edge if it's um, got a bit of dimension that's fine by me let's just um, stick this down to the felt make sure i get that centralized there's not much wiggle room with this glue as we know about there i think and i'm just going to weight that down to start off with found this craft envelope in my stash it's a little bit big but I just love how the colour goes with the card I also decided to add some of the leftover pink thread to this little um, wooden bird button now this is quite fat it's quite dimensional so I've decided not to add it just yet because I'm not um, sure what I'm going to do with this whether you know I'd send it um, as a card I could even sort of you know cut this down and add it um, to a journal cover there are just so many ways that you you could use this so I'm just going to leave the bird there for the time being it does look cute though doesn't it that is my first ever attempt at slow stitching and I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it so I hope that this is something that you're willing to give a try some of you have probably tried this um, already Linda I know you will have done um, slow stitching many many a time because you love your your stitching and your, your crochet um, but yeah that was um, that was great fun for me and a prompt that um, I've been meaning to try for a long while so just to reiterate the prompt in the Facebook group this week is slow stitching um, you don't have to do this kind of style you can do anything you like interpret it in any way that suits you but if you've enjoyed today's video as always I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now